Hey guys, I'm Shannon Smith from Canada, and today I'm going to basically go over those falsified um, rumors that I believe came out Thursday or Friday that there wasn't going to be any um, future movies, which are apparently um, false. They confirmed it, I believe, yesterday, Star Wars did, or um, Lucasfilm, which is great, I guess. Like, I'm really anticipating for Obi-Wan Kenobi and maybe later or something. I'll basically, um, kind of think of little ideas, like, you know, where I want Obi-Wan to take place, like, the timeline. For example, maybe Obi-Wan will be after Revenge of the Sith, or maybe, like, a year or two after, maybe during, um, the Clone Wars animated series, somehow, too. I'm sure, like, there's a lot that, um, Dave Filoni, or whoever the creator is, um, didn't cover that was, like, in novels, or, um, ideas that they thought, eh, it's not suitable for the show, or... Whatever, like non kid friendly or um, whatever the reading was for um, the Clone Wars, which I'm gonna continue watching just till I think if we'll see um, Asajj Ventress or somebody in there, especially like if we still believe little tiny rumors going on that Ray is somehow connected to Obi Wan, like his granddaughter? Because that kind of doesn't make sense. John Boyega had to drop his accent, I believe, like his British accent or whatever. To play Finn and Daisy get to keep, Daisy um Ray obviously got to keep hers. Um, plus maybe later on, like I said, I'm probably going to think of like three people that could take on John Williams' role after Episode Nine, maybe even like another Steven Spielberg production as well. But I think this guy did Ready Player One. Um. Either Alan Silvestri, I think, especially, like, his work with Steven Spielberg, like, they did Ready Player One, and I'm sure he would be a great rendition to the Star Wars universe, unless he undid little bits, especially, like, his score to um, Back to the Future, that's kind of John Williams-esque, I guess, plus he's obviously worked with Steven Spielberg, maybe George Lucas at one time, too. Or um, Hans Zimmerman. Unless they come up with like a man, new artist. Like I believe John is like selling off all of his works. To like young upcoming students. So you never know. Maybe you'll see an up and coming person. Taking on like next Marvel movie. If something were to happen to. Um, Danny Elfman or whoever does the. Avengers and their themes. So maybe that person will take over. And maybe of course. Star Wars, if they do go past 9 and do like 10, 11, 12, and then maybe have like a little idea for Obi-Wan Kenobi and Boba Fett, like who those people could be. Plus, I'll probably go over a little bit of fan casting since I accidentally forgot it. I'll probably fan cast Boba Fett, like mainly who can be Boba. Like I got two guys um, in mind. Like um, The Rock has apparently wanted to be with Disney for a while, like, I know he's done loads of kids type movies and a lot of action stuff, but he just has to wear the helmet, too. Correct me if I'm wrong. Unless he has, like, one of those, um, Michael Myers or whatever type face reveals. Or maybe I'm Hugh Jackman. Like, if Logan did really good. Plus, if you were to think, he would, um, Hugh Jackman was at D23, I believe, last year or this year. So, it's, like, with that little hint, even though, um, the news just came out, like, a week or two ago that... Um, James Mangold was going to do Boba, so maybe. Okay. And then just, like, get them, the guy that did the original voice work for Boba, <coughs> to, um, you know, be in there. Maybe I'll do Aaron Red as Han Solo again. Unless it's um, an Underworld-type movie. Uh, just because nobody knows. Is it going to be after Return of the Jedi? Or is it going to be, like, a mob-type movie? Like, Boba. Uh, Java and whoever else is out there. Maybe even we'll get to like see a few people that hate Han that we we'd eventually like, see in the future. I guess I don't know. <clears throat> or somehow connecting to one of these two series, like John Favreau is doing a TV series that supposedly I believe um, after Return of the Jedi. So it's like maybe we'll see Boba in that too, and obviously maybe we'll see little cameos. Like a little um, TV cameo or something from Alden as Han and maybe like, uh, I don't know, Millie Bobby Brown or somebody from Stranger Things would be my perfect choice for Leia. But it's like there's probably a few other people out there. 
that could, even though my friend Madison, she doesn't believe in me that I said that. And guys, I'm going to um, bash somebody right now. Her name is Grace Randolph, you guys. Um, beyond the trailer, I believe she has. And she blamed Kelly Mary Trans on herself. Really? Girl, like, really? I wouldn't like um, Grace if she wasn't in... If she was in um, The Last Jedi. Sorry, guys. I'm a little bit um, tired. I have a little bit of a cold. Like, my voice is kind of hurting and stuff. But, like, yeah, and she even blamed it on Disney, too. Like, it's technically not their fault. Star Wars can do whatever they want. And I guess, in a way, even though people are probably going to hate me since I love The Last Jedi, but in a way, it's probably, like, the casting ideas or um, Ryan Johnson's fault, I guess. Not entirely Disney's. Like, he was the one where the Moran Bergman, I believe, who wrote the script, and who are even currently doing that, um... Three movie, I believe. Star Wars thing with all new characters. And maybe I'll like look up Star Wars canon or whatever and think of like three or whatever great stories. Because remember, there's going to be like two movie series, one by the Game of Thrones people maybe starting soon. Like in a couple of weeks or so since a few people are still finishing up Game of Thrones like Nikolai Coster Waldo and who knows who else. I haven't been watching Game of Thrones recently, so I don't, like, know who is um, left out of all the cast to film their scenes. And then they have to, like, air it, but I'm pretty sure they maybe have an idea in mind. Unless a bunch of us, like, fan cast or <coughs> whatever. Unless they like, do, like, a Twitter or Facebook live thingy. And we can be like, so what are your plans for the Star Wars movie or something? Because I'm sure they maybe have some ideas. An epic battle sequence for a movie. But yeah. And maybe I'll go over like a little thing of what I want for um, John Favreau's TV series. I'm not much of an anime girl. So it's like. What exactly do I kind of want to see for um, Star Wars Resistance. The um, Dave Filoni TV series. But Yeah. I probably won't be doing that one, but I'll probably, like, say one or two things from John Favreau's, maybe later, or, um, Star Wars Talk Thursday, Friday, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> but, yeah, I got cut off yesterday. I had to, um, go out. My friend's birthday, guys. Happy birthday, guys. Thank you for that. 